Breaking news, everybody. Tomorrow, the President of the United States himself is going to be sending out a national presidential alert at 2.18 p.m. Although, in theory, this is a great idea, I think that there's more behind it than that, and I took a look at the astrology, and I'd like to explore tomorrow's chart on October 3rd, 2018, at 2.18 p.m., and why the president would do this. Ego, of course. Ego. I immediately see that the moon will be opposing Mars in the first house. Showing me a few things. Ego, of course. Anger. Emotions. And everything has to be about me, me, me. That's the first house. Also, what's interesting is Jupiter is at 22 degrees, which to this astrologer is a volatile sign, and it conjuncts DJT's sun sign at 22 degrees Gemini. So I'm looking at this, and I immediately think that he wants to connect with the rest of the world and be more relatable, but his ego is driving him 100%. That's that Mars in the first house opposing the moon in the seventh house, almost directly with its opposite sign of Leo. It's just a few degrees away, which also would be hitting DJT's rising sign in Leo. When we have a moon opposite Mars transit. It can make us awfully moody, short-tempered, angry. Little things will annoy us. This alert system could annoy the entire United States. It could cause widespread panic to people that don't know that this is coming. And it could actually wind up alienating him from the rest of the country. Of course, the diehard Republicans are always going to be on his side, no matter what, um, fighting for him and supporting him. However, he's going to create a lot of conflict with this. And I really feel that things have been getting under his skin with the Brett Kavanaugh deal, and this is his way of letting off steam, showing that he is in charge. There's a very strong urge here to have desires fulfilled, and the more selfish the motives, the less likely he will succeed. It'll be really interesting to see how this plays out and how the country responds to this alert. Like I said, essentially, in theory, this is a great idea. But then again, remember what happened to that false alert in Hawaii? Everybody ran around in a panic, and there were no incoming missiles. So let's take a look and see. We'll have to just wait. And that's it from Kim from Expressions of the Universe. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share.